Welcome to part 7, the final part of Mega Man 2. It's been a long journey, we're finally going to take on Dr. Wily for the second time out of, uh, I think 11. I kind of not fighting here. Yeah, 11 times. Because there's 1 through 10 in Mega Man and Base. And by the way, no, my audio is not fucking up. There is no music to this level. And I'm not sure if that's supposed to be blood or not. I think it's rough to Castlevania. Here, we're here at the final boss, and... Dr. Wily. Ah, uh, what? You an alien? Uh, this changed everything. It's game over, man! Game over! No, not that kind of alien. If it was, Mega Man would be either screwed or be assured victory. Anyway, his pattern trailer symbol, he goes in the infinity symbol pattern and occasionally shoots a very powerful bullet. He's only, he's only way he can hurt him. Bleh. The only way you can hurt him, as far as I know, is with the bubble wedge. That's right, the most useless weapon in the game is used at, is used the weakness of the final boss. Like, if I remember correctly, Mega Man X2 actually does the same thing. I can't remember, it's been a I played X2. And it was j oh, Wily. Holograms, really? Actually, for those of you guys who are fans of Scott Pilgrim, versus the world, which I'm actually looking at books right now that are right before my laptop is, this, this in the game, this entire little ending sequence is referenced as, as the final boss against Gideon. I'm sorry, he forgave me. And yes, that was a reference to another Let's Player who is more popular than us. That was called J642. Anyway, it's been a long journey. But, Mega Man, tired of all the battles, walks home, thinking about the fate of humans, and how we may end up destroying ourselves. And if he apparently walks around all the way for a year, why he doesn't just teleport like he has throughout the game, I don't know. And by the way, those are supposed to be uh, cherry blossom petals, cherry blossoms being, uh, I believe, the country flower of uh, Japan. Actually, I think the the next the, the part after that we're about to get to right here, right? Yeah, like after this little whistle part ends, in the iPod version just cuts back to the tile screen. Mega Man, you forgot an extra life. For those who don't know, Mega Man 8 in space. The extra lives are just helmets. And now we get an awesome music piece going with the credits, which was actually mixed in Mega Man 4, I believe. Now we get like the bio, like, the small bios of all the robot masters, what they are. Number, in case you don't know, uh, this, this doesn't really explain this whole Mega Man is powered up with the re PSP remake of the original Mega Man. But the rare origin, as you know, it started off at number 9 with Metal Man. There are 8 robot masters before these. They are Dr. Light and technically Dr. Wily numbers as well. And the two that weren't in it, the whatever. That I will explain when I do Mega Man 1 are Time Man and Oil Man, who are exclusive to the PSP game. The wood Man. <laughs> oh god, I'm kind of my brother. Now we just get the game the character designers. Enough King and such. Capcom with the Mega Man series, at least the early ones, has a. Think about giving, making made up names like Kiki Chan's Papa, I don't remember his name. No KG Ina Fune threads and stuff as his normal name, I believe. Sorry, I'm enjoying the music. <laughs> I love this game's soundtrack. Might as well give my review a game like the game actually. As as a game itself, it's one of my favorite games of all time. The music, the control, the play replayability, it's all there. I'd give it around an 8 out of 10. So, yeah, that's the end of the first Mega Man game I'm doing for this channel. Am my two others? I don't know. But anyway, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. You know the rest. Thanks for watching. No, I, th I think I've said that twice in every single one of my outros. And see you guys next time. Presented by Capcom, USA. Thank you, Capcom.